Hello everyone, my name is Adami Garbouj. I am a PhD student in University of Angers. In this video, I will present our work in machine learning assessment determination of the best protocol and variety testing. This work is made by myself, Salma Smani, Pijman Rasti, and Professor David Rousseau. So, to commercialize a new variety in, in agriculture, this variety is passed at several tests. So, the current technique to implement this test is the manual measurement. But this process is very long. Also, it's a non-objective procedure with the visual inspection, and the results are non-informative criteria and registration between countries. So, the challenge today is to move to digital phenotyping, called plant imaging. So, the goal here is to speed up annotation with autonomous devices, have objective measurement via standardized uh, device uh, sensors, and get the possibility to share knowledge and registration on variety selection. So, when we say plant imaging, it means we need to acquire the images. But in general, we don't know the best way to took these images. So the, the question here is how to define a good protocol of acquisition. So we try now to respond this question. So we have a different database, came from different countries and took with different devices. And after that, we apply a task of image processing in this database, as segmentation object detection. And now we want to choose the best protocols, so we can divide our uh, images in, in uh, uh, our images in good or bad based in the results. And we can bring the images has a good uh, results and try to have some optical parameter description from these images as uh, acquisition distance, lighting, angle of view. So how to do this description? So for that we propose this pipeline. The f uh, our pipeline based in three steps. The first step is the supervised machine learning part. The second one is the unsupervised machine learning. And the last one is the protocol description. So we will see the, th the three steps more in details with the real test. But now we see the, um, the database used in our test. So we have three different database with a several acquisition conditions. Now we test the first step in our database. So we have our images, we have the ground truth in segmentation or object detection. And after that, we apply UNET as a supervised machine learning methods. And to evaluate our results, we calculate the dice coefficient. The dice is the intersection between ground truth and prediction. So now let's move to step two. So this step started by features extraction, but I should mention here the features used here are not the same future space that used in supervised machine learning. Here we extract a futures uh, uh, have an optical interpretation. We can bring as an example is the we calculate illumination to get the information of the optimal uh, lighting system. So we have RGB images, we convert it to grayscale image and after that we count the pixel that have a low uh, value and the pixel close to saturation another uh, features can be uh, used is the depth estimation to provide the best angle of view so now we have our features and for each of features we can we apply a k means with k equal to 2 and after that, we replace each feature value by the corresponding dice. Now we have two cluster with dices. And the question here is the two description of dice in two different cluster are the same or not. So we do Wilkinson well test, tests and we calculate the p-value. If the p-value less than 0 0.05, it means the two description of dices are not the same. So it means these features are impact our results. So now let's see the real results in our three database. As you see here, the p-value for three data set are less than 0 0.05. It means the optical parameters tested here have um, uh, an impact to the quality of image processing. For example, here we use the depth estimation and we see two different description. So let's go now to describe our protocol based in these results. 
So here is you see, if we see if looking at the images in each class, we see the similar optic condition. For example, here the saturation in the first um, the the first uh, database. Also, the angle of view in each class here are the same. So the results could uh, be used to identify the most important optical parameters and define the best practice based on our data. So, to conclude, machine learning can help us to define automatically the best protocols in, um, of acquisition. So, we are satisfied in, this for in our first results, but the limitation is in our, in our approach, it's a very slow approach because we needed a large annotated data set, it takes time and the data set we can bring in just in vegetarian season with also all optical parameters. So, we think now to use, to speed up our approach using virtual reality, we can simulate the large annotated data set with all parameters. So, this is our future work. Thank you for your attention. Hello everyone, my name is Adamine Garbouge. I am PhD student in University of Angers. In this video